What's up, y'all? Today I'm getting negative with baseball, which I don't like to do. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you don't like to be negative with baseball, but or maybe you do because that's why you clicked on the video. But this is one harsh truth about every American League team. Uh, I'm also going to do National League teams. And I'll do one good thing about each team. Those videos will be coming the next week. Uh, we're going to get into it. We've got the AL East, AL Central, AL West. Um, let's just go right into it. We'll start off with the AL East and the World Series runners-up, Tampa Bay Rays. Now, the Tampa Bay Rays, the big thing, obviously, is Blake Snell wants out. And he is an amazing pitcher. He's, he's your ace. Uh, come, your, your move from a Cy Young, and he really picked it up this year. He wants out, and there's always the risk of them losing their team to Montreal. So that's not good, uh, especially when, when players uh, want trades and the team is forced to trade them. You're never going to get the same trade value back because the other team knows that, and they know they're not going to really get the uh, same value. So Kevin Cash's decision, it might have cost you guys uh, a World Series, and it might have cost you guys your ace. Um, we'll go to the Orioles. Orioles had a really good 2020, considering they were a team. Like, them and the Marlins were, like, right at the bottom. They had a really good 2020. Didn't make the playoffs, but they were close. Uh, lots of players performed very well, but no pitchers. They had uh, absolutely no pitching this year. They just kind of, they figured it out. But uh, maybe John Means can come back to his 2019 form. But they're going to need some more pitching if they want to compete in 2021. Uh, Red Sox, the Mookie trade is looking absolutely terrible. He's one of the best uh, athletes because he can play basketball, football. He's like a professional bowler as well as baseball. I'm sure he was a lot of your uh, Red Sox fans' favorite player. I know you guys kind of had to trade him. Trade's not looking very good. I mean, I really like Verdugo. Like, he's one of my favorite players. He's not uh, reaching Mookie standards. They probably should have got Verdugo and Dustin May or Verdugo and Gratterall. Uh, now that now that trade's not looking so good, unless Jeter Downs, the other prospect they got is amazing, or Verdugo continues to hit at like this 300 uh, batting average marker. Uh, Yankees. Uh, Yankees, it's is money thing. So obviously they have the, they have the DJ LeMayu contract in free agency, and if I yeah, so far he hasn't signed yet, if they lose him, their harsh truth would probably be, I you guys are a wild card team. I think the Rays are... Uh, better in a regular season. I already think that even if they re-sign DJ, but the p problem is the contracts and the length of contracts that they have. Now they probably won't have too much problem trading these contracts, but what, a really bad contract is Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks is um, 31 right now, and he's gonna get paid. He had a seven-year deal, so he's being paid until he's 38. I don't think you want 38 Aaron Hick, 38 year old Aaron Hicks on your team, and you don't want a Jacoby Ellsbury situation where I think they're still paying Ellsbury and he's fallen off the falling off the cliff. Falling off the world. Um, like you're paying um, Stanton until he's 38. You're paying Garrett Cole until he's 38. And DJ LeMayu wants a five to seven year deal. And he's 32 right now. So do you want all, like, if you guys, I know you, I know Yankees want to compete right now. But think in like two, three, four years, you're still going to have like Hicks, Stanton, Cole, LeMayu. These guys won't be as good in like four years. And you'll still be paying them. In like another two more years until they're 38. It's not bad, but Yankees fans know this. And they're the Yankees. They got the money, so it's not terrible. <clears throat> My Blue Jays. Um, this is definitely a harsh truth. Competing in the AL East for them is terrible. They're in the market for like all the big free agents and trading for Lindor. But all that's going to, even if we sign one of them or trade for Lindor, it's just going to make us a, a three seed in the AL East. And then it means we have to battle out for a wild card spot, and that can only lead to one Wild card game. So the harsh truth is trading youth for Lindor or spending a lot of money on free agents just to have like a one wild card game that we might make it out of there. AL Central, uh, starting with the White Sox. This one is scary and it's their new, uh, very weird hire. They hired Tony La Russa and he has the potential to totally ruin this team. I mean, La Russa is an old school manager. He's a Hall of Fame manager, so he's a great uh, baseball mind. He just doesn't. He's not going to combine well with Tim Anderson, uh, Luis Robert, Eloy Jimenez, um, Yasmani Grandal even. He's not a big guy for like bat flips. I mean, he maybe he's changed. I mean, he also, he also got the DUI a couple months ago. It's not great. But if they clash and all their players in the lineup are super exciting, they like to play like the new, the new age style of baseball, and La Russa is old age style of baseball, that could really clash and it could ruin the team, some of the players might want to get out of there, and even just the chemistry uh, wouldn't be good, so that's risky. That's risky, risky hire. It was a weird hire from the start. Uh, twins. I feel bad for Twins fans. You guys haven't won a playoff game in like 22 years or something like that, um, and you've had your best chance to win over the past two years. 
uh, and there's been no playoff wins. Now, the White Sox are the number one seed by far, whereas the Twins were the number one seed the past two years, and you guys didn't do anything. You guys lost to the Astros in the first round, so your harsh truth is that your time to win has passed. Uh, and I mean, like the La Russa think it screwed up, and you guys could win the division. I doubt it, though. <laughs> um, for the Royals, the Royals' rebuild is actually coming along really well. We saw some great uh, pitchers. Uh, come up for them this year, and they still got guys like the third third overall. Yeah, it was third overall pick Asa Lacy. Uh, but the problem is, you guys hitting. You have uh, Whit Merrifield who's thirty one, um, Jorge Soler is twenty eight, uh, Hunter Dozier is twenty nine. Uh, you guys have great pitching coming, but there's literally no offense really right now, and there's no offense uh, coming in your guys' prospects. I mean, maybe Mondesi who's like twenty five. So I mean, the pitching will come. You can always pay for hitting, but right now. The rebuild is like only one-sided, which is kind of weird. But it's, it's not that bad of a harsh truth. Uh, Tigers. Lots of amazing prospects coming up. You got Casey Mize, who struggled in 2020, but it was 2020. Uh, you got Spencer Torkerson, the first overall pick. Matt Manning, who's a great pitching prospect. Riley Green, who I'm pretty sure is a pitching prospect. I'll have to check that. Anyways, you guys have lots of great prospects coming up. No one really on your roster that's good. So banking on prospects is always tough. It's always something you never really want to bank on like four prospects for your for your rebuild um i mean you obviously want to bank on prospects but banking on prospects is just risky indians this is a tough one you guys lost your name that just came out a couple days ago that's tough uh you guys are gonna lose lindor in a trade or free agency um i mean i, don't, I mean that just sucks i'm sure he's if you're an indians fan your favorite player is probably lindor right he's been there for a while he's uh exciting got the the, the smile he's charismatic and losing him to free agency or trade Really sucks. Um, I would hate to have to be in that situation. And yeah, that just sucks for the Indians fans. Okay, AL West, Angels. You guys are just going to ruin one of the greatest players of all time's career unless you guys get some pitching. It's literally simple as that. I hope they sign Bauer. But I also, if they don't sign Bauer, please get like three to four solid above average starting pitchers. Like, please. I mean, you guys got Dylan Bundy, Shohei Otani. Uh, stocked in 2020, but that's that's two that can do it right there. Sign three more solid pitchers. Let a lineup of Trout, Rendon, uh, Otani, Fletcher. The AL West is is open this year with the Astros and Athletics uh, not seeming as good as they were. I mean, nothing happened to the Athletics, but like the Athletics are beatable. Astros got worse. Please make a playoff push. Everyone wants to see one of the greatest players of all time in the playoffs. He's 29, and he's only been there once. Please make the playoffs, Angels. You guys, your best chance is your expanded playoffs, and you guys were terrible. You picked it up in the second half. Uh, ride that into 2021. Uh, Astros, no one forgot what you guys did, and um, you guys are going to lose Springer and Brantley, so you guys are probably not even a playoff team next year. Uh, Verlander might come back, though. But yeah, um, you guys are still going to get destroyed next year if there's fans. Um, Mariners, the 19-year uh, postseason drought will reach a cool 20 is what I is what I think is going to happen because you guys are banking on prospects to change that. Now, Kyle Lewis had an amazing year, and you guys have two amazing prospects in Jared Kalenic and Taylor Trammell that can fit that left field, right field. If that happens, watch out, but banking on prospects, man, you never want to do that. Well, it, you do want to do that, but it's risky. Rangers, uh, this is a really bad one. It's maybe the boringest team in baseball, and like there's no one in the lineup or the rotation rota rotation that excites anyone except Gallo, and he did not have a good 2020. Uh, and so you guys signed Kluber, you guys signed Miner, you had Lance Lynn, you did that all to put fans in the seats in the new stadium. No fans, and you lost all three players this year. Uh, uh, last one is the Oakland Athletics. Uh, you guys lost to the Astros, and that was your best chance to get into the championship series in years. Um, you guys really fumbled the bag against a not great Astros team that that did show up really well in the playoffs. But like, it would have been nice for Oakland A's to get into the championship series with a good chance to beat the Rays and go to the World Series. So that's kind of just twist the knife. All right, I think that's the video. Harsh truths. I will do harsh truths for the NL in the next couple days, and then I will do the good thing about each team. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.